<sighs> Habari. It's Aki Chan Hotatsumaki. And I know I'm like dead ass late while I'm, while I'm about this review, but I literally just saw it for the first time. And this is more so gonna be about what I what what I thought about the the Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh let's see. Uh at first, it did not pique my interest when I saw the previews, because in my thought, I thought there was going to be another Spider-Man origin story or another Spider-Man movie, like they already made thousands of before. And just like Andrew Garfield, they casted an English actor, Tom Holland. I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying uh, Tom Holland. If I'm pretty sure that was his name. Is an English actor just like Andrew Garfield, the previous one for the Amazing Spider-Man movies. But more or less, that's not important. Uh, more or less, I'm trying to say, I saw the movie and pretty much my feelings still say, stayed the same. St stayed the same when I saw the previews. It was, it, it, it wasn't bad. I'm not going to say the movie wasn't bad, but of course, it wasn't good either. Honestly, I actually had mixed feelings for the movie. Uh, it it doesn't if the movie to me when I saw it it didn't know if it wanted to be a really uh, a, a typical uh, Seth Rogen and uh, 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 Harry Osborne uh, James Franco it didn't know if it wanted to be a, a, a James Franco or a Seth Rogen bro, uh, bromance or it didn't know if it wanted to be a, a you know any other cliche superhero movie. Uh, I didn't know if it wanted to be a romance or a philosophical film. It didn't know what it really wanted to be, actually. It, it In terms of plot, in terms of story, it didn't know what movie it really actually wanted to be at one point. Uh, uh, I, I did enjoy Tom Holland's betrayal as Peter Parker slash Spider-Man. Uh, I kind of thought, I kind of thought his little career, his little... Asian friend, I think that's the shoving for for Harry for Harry Osborne. I think I forgot the actor, but I like the character point of view more or less. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed his character for the most part. He was kind of funny. He kind of got annoying. Uh, it, it was a good for for what it was. It was it was it was a good. It was okay. You know, good comedy ish superhero movie, just like. The death, that Deadpool movie. It was, a, it was a funny, it was a funny, uh, 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 uh romantic, uh, uh, superhero comedy movie. It was good. It was, it was good for that, for that account. But really, my feelings towards the movie is still, was still mutual when I saw the trailers. Uh, more or less, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, conclude it saying my feelings were mutual. But yeah, well, yeah. My feelings were mutual for the trailers in the movie. My feelings were mutual for both. But I think, but when I saw the trailers, as I said before, I thought I was going to completely dislike the movie. But when I saw the movie, I, I didn't dislike it. It was, it was pretty enjoyable for the most part. But I'm going to still, I'm still going to have to say I still had mixed feelings for it. You might see a sequel in the future. And I, I, I know it is. I, I, I I'm, I'm, 100, I'm crystal, I'm crystal clear that there will be a sequel in the future. But more or less, I'm just saying I had mixed feelings for it. And my feelings were mutual to that of the trailers to the actual film. That's all. I, I'm, I'm going to give it an adequate. 